all is well, you know, I'm feeling good, ready to go. I think Mike White has a solid opponent. He's a uh, very experienced. Um, you know, there's nothing really that special. You know, he's just a solid fighter, hard nosed, and durable. And, and that's what I don't want to be known as hard nosed and durable, because that means that you're good at taking punishment and you're a tough guy. You know, I don't want to be known as that personally. That's me. But like I said before, you know, every every fight's a new fight. So he might have. 30, 20, he might be 24 and 6, but coming to this fight with me, you know, he's going to be 0-0 zero, zero, and I'm going to be 0-0 zero, because zero, all that stuff in the past don't mean nothing. As far as him taking me down or being a, a you know, a strong, you know, our wrestling canceling out, it won't happen. The only wrestling only cancel out if I don't use it. Because if I want to go take him down, I'll take him down. I'm not worried, you know what I'm saying? I think it's very important to um, stay strong in my wrestling base because I'm not trying to be like one of those other wrestlers that uh, they jump in MMA and then all of a sudden they get taken down by a kickboxer. The two or the two or three things I learned in wrestling that helped me with uh, MMA is like you know the ability to stay focused while you're drilling and pick up technique, and then just like pushing through things. You know what I'm saying? Because in wrestling, er in wrestling everything you fought everything that was thrown your way you fought through it. With MMA, if you have the tough, you know, hard-nosed mentality, like, you know, nothing can hold you back, and you're going to do whatever it takes to win, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what wrestling teaches you in a way. You know, I got, the, I got the best trainer partners. I got guys with good takedowns that come in, like Pat Cummins and Daniel Cormier. I got good jiu-jitsu guys like Jason Mayhem Miller, Nogueira and Fabricio. And I got great boxing coaches, Danny Perez and Melcher Manor. So, I, what's their change? I think you work, then. This is worse, right? That's worse. Uh-huh. Punching is easier. See, there's a lot of work now. That's it. I'll make you work. Well, when I'm watching tape or in practice or running moves, I don't really look at the move that as much. I look at the rhythm and how the rhythm and the, the footwork that's involved first. And that's what I look at, whether it be fights or technique, I always look at the footwork and rhythm. Because if you don't got that, then you're not, you, don't got, you don't have nothing. You don't got a damn thing. Mike Wett has footwork when it comes to moving forward. He's a very straightforward person, in your face, not hard to miss, you know what I'm saying? He's not hard to find. And his rhythm is pretty much, you know, rhythm, you know, it's his rhythm. I'm kind of like, you know, a smooth jazz, nice hip hop, southern, dirty style rap. And he's kind of like, just grunge rock, you know, like, you know, I don't know, rock and roll type stuff. You know, that's him. It's, Two different styles, you know what I'm saying? Well, there's no increased pressure from anything in MMA as far as like exposure to fame, because I'm not really famous. And as far as exposure, all I'm just doing is trying to keep them haters mad, because all they do is talk bad about me. So as long as I keep winning, more and more haters get mad, and that's, I'm doing my job. Because if you, ain't, if you ain't got no haters, you're doing something wrong. And I got plenty of them, so obviously I'm doing something right, I'm 5-0. I keep on planning on winning.